Violent storms in other parts of the country during the weekend have killed at least a dozen people. Jay Gray has a closer look at the aftermath of Tropical Storm Claudette and the string of tornadoes that cut through the South and Midwest. The damage here stretches for miles. Wind and rain from Tropical Storm Claudette ripping through the South, the system spawning tornadoes. You can feel the trailer lift up and fly and then start clipping. Destiny Ward was inside and somehow survived. All, all, all that's not pieces of my trailer. In other areas, it was the water building way too fast, flooding communities from Louisiana through Alabama. First responders say a car likely hydroplaned on I-65 just south of Montgomery, setting off a chain reaction crash. I've never seen anything like it. It was horrific. At least 10 people died in the pileup, including eight children ages 4 to 17, traveling in a small bus operated by the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranch. The group was just two hours from home after spending a week at the beach. A string of tornadoes and driving rains also left parts of the Midwest in ruins. The Chicago suburbs of Woodridge and Naperville dealing with some of the worst of it. In the middle of running down the stairs, I just could feel the whole house shake. Teams now working through the damage. Our community has been tremendously impacted. It's actually devastating. Survivors well aware. Everyone's safe. That's all that matters. It could have been much worse. Jay Gray, NBC News. And check this out. The Navy has fired thousands of pounds of explosives near one of its aircraft carriers to test its wartime abilities. The USS Gerald Ford was hit about 100 miles off the coast of Florida on Friday. The U.S. Geological Survey says the blast was the equivalent of a 3.9 magnitude earthquake. The Navy says the test was a success. A crush of passengers at the airport. And now we've got a new pandemic record to tell you about. That's next.